guys welcome back to another episode of destination outdoors obviously by clicking on this video you know what it's about uh me and my dad and my mom went on a trip with my cousin and his buddy Dwayne to del rio and they put us on a couple rams um it was an awesome trip this hunt was actually in february of 2021 but i'm making this intro now to kind of give you all a fair warning uh while i'm editing this i'm realizing so how Del Rio, Texas is, is it's a bunch of plains and like, you'll know, there'll be some ravines in there and stuff, but there's no trees or anything. So the wind up there, like on like a daily basis is like 20 miles an hour. Um, that's not like an abnormal thing. Uh, and if you don't have a mic for your camera, which I do not have, I need to get one. Um, this wind is obviously just pounding the heck out of it, unless if you're in one of these little ravines. So there's some points in this video where you can hear the audio clearly. And um, at those points, I'm letting the audio play. But most of the video, just a little fair warning, I had to put music over it. Um, or you would just be hearing wind hitting the camera the entire time. And it would you wouldn't be able to watch the video. It wouldn't be enjoyable at all. Um, so like I said, just fair warning. Most of this video has got music playing over it. But the parts of the video where you can hear me talk, um, I had to do some editing to the audio so my voice sounds a little funky or whoever's talking their voice sounds a little funky but you can still hear what we're saying um but like i said we didn't get one but we got two rams down in this video it was a great time i just want to say thanks again to jet and Dwayne for letting us come out there and putting both of us on awesome rams hopefully we can get to do it again sometime this upcoming year but y'all stay tuned for the action peace all right guys Welcome back to another episode of Destination Outdoors. We are out here in Del Rio. Uh, if you watched the last video, uh, I said we were going to be coming up here this weekend with my cousin and uh, his buddy Dwayne to try to get us on a couple rams or ram or two. But uh, it is Saturday morning and uh, we got here Friday around 1 or 2. It's about 8.30 or so right now. Um, I think we're about to finish up breakfast, get on the road. I think the game plan... I'm not mistaken yet. We're just going to kind of ride around. Yeah, we're going to go that, that edge of the property first. Uh, hopefully we can find some about 100, 200 yards out and put a little stock on them or something. But if we got a big sheep or a big ram right off the road, then we're sure going to shoot it. But uh, y'all stay tuned. Super excited. Hopefully we get one down. At this point in the hunt, we hadn't maybe moved two to 300 yards from the campsite and we found this massive group of sheep. We sat outside the truck for a couple minutes to uh, glass them and see if we could pick out a shooter. Uh, I found a white one that I thought was really pretty. He was almost a double curl, uh, big, big bodied sheep. So we made the decision to go ahead and put the stalk on him.
down. Good job, bud. We drove around for a few more hours uh, looking for a big ram to put my dad on. Um, we saw a ton of sheep within that time, but we just couldn't find any that had the, the size we were looking for until we came across the corner on this big hill. And sure enough, there was probably eight to ten of them in this group uh, that dang near every single one of them was a shooter. So um, we, caught, we come across this corner and they're sitting right there and we're not even maybe 50, 60 yards from them. So they were on us from the moment we turned the corner. So we came up with a game plan. We were all gonna sneak out of the truck and crouch down while Jet pulled the truck up because the Rams had their eyes on the truck. They couldn't see us if we were at ground level and we were squatted down. So we got out of the truck, Jet pulled off, and we started the stock.
Oh wow, that is sweet. Yeah, okay, that's so cool how it comes out like that. Here, give me a gun, dude. Thing. Cool man. Pretty cool. Thanks man. You're welcome. It's awesome. Glad I was ever put y'all on them. Yes sir. It was a fight. We got it done. That's really cool how it sticks out like that. Yeah. Good job. Mommy. All right guys. We've been uh, doing some work around the ranch. Uh, since we last saw y'all after my dad got that freaking Mondo. Sorry about the video with all the wind. Uh, I pretty much had to put music over the entire video. Anybody that's been, you know, North Mexico, West, Southwest, uh, Texas. Y'all know it's super windy. Um, and we're sitting on top of these ridge tops. There's absolutely no trees. You can't hear a thing. But I want to thank uh, Jet and Wayne for sticking both of us on a good ramp. It was a great time, but uh, we got my ram caped out and uh, my dad's ram skull ready. He's gonna get a European mount. I'm getting shoulder mounted, so pretty excited about that. But I'm super tired. Been a long day, so if you liked the episode, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.